Hey guys, what's up? So, we're getting into a new episode of Rome. So, Lucius had, um, he has, he cursed his children, his own children. Like, Lucius, bro, but I mean, he knows now. He knows that he shouldn't have done that and he's trying to fix it. So, right now, him and Titus are in the process of trying to find his children because I know that dude, I, I keep forgetting his name, but I know he's lying about what he said, um, what he did to his kids. I know that's a lie. They're, they're out there. They're alive. They're, I hope he didn't do nothing drastic to them though. Um, but I know they're alive. He, it, they have to be, have to be alive. But, um, so he's trying to find his kids. Now will be and Caesar um they had like a funeral for them and everything so they they put them to rest Brutus and come on Mark Anthony um they okay so Mark Anthony swears he's gonna kill them all for what they did to Caesar um so I think he's still planning on stabbing them in the back in the future. But he asked uh, Brutus and the rest of the, you know, the group or whatever uh, to just, you know, like, let's be friends and we'll move past this, blah, 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 blah. And Brutus agreed to it. He agreed to being his friend, working together and leading Rome for now. But we know that's not going to work out. That is definitely not going to work out. And then you have the relationship with uh, Titus and uh, Irene. Um, blossoming, if you will. Okay, so Caesar gave Octavian his name. And he basically made Octavian like his son. And he basically, he gave everything to Octavian in his will. And, you know, they were all mad about that. Um, <laughs> Mark Anthony was saying, roll Caesar's death as a natural death, like he got struck by lightning. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop for now and just say that's basically the gist of what happened. Because I'm gonna get right into this episode, honestly. <laughs> and I think I basically covered everything. So, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And let's get... Let's hop right in. This is random, but I just wanted to let y'all know. If any, I have a treat for you guys. If I'm able to film another episode, um, which I'm pretty sure I am, I'm gonna start doing um, getting back into the Walking Dead, the whole Walking Dead universe. I know all the shows that has came out. Was it Death City or something like that? I don't know. The one with Negan and. Maggie, but if you guys are into it, um, for now it's going to be a Patreon exclusive, just for now though. Now let's stop rambling and get right into this episode. Oh shit. <sighs> I like that little head nod. I wonder if that was him just saying like, Got your back. What? Oh my, what is happening? Oh, jeez. Hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. It's a kiss then. You shave, I kiss. <laughs> oh. You talk to him. I said I would and I will. We cannot stay here forever. It's not right. This place is a house of death. I know. I'm not gonna lie, this is really sweet. A good day out. A good day for a walk in the country, maybe. No. Brother, a full moon has come and gone. Maybe it's time to cut off these morning beards, eh? Mm-hmm. You should go. Leave you here like this? Good friend I'd be. <laughs> I caused the death of my wife. I caused the death of my children. I have caused the death of Caesar. Okay, that wasn't your fault, for sure. 
but the first two options, yes, that was your fault. But, oh wait, no, I know your children are dead, so I'm not gonna talk about that part. She's a queen. Caesar would have fucked Medusa if she'd worn a crown. You jealous, Flower? Of course. I don't mind your whores, but I don't want you making love to her sort. What is it, dear boy? About my money. You assured me I'd have it by now. I'm so sorry it slipped my mind. I, I will see to it. You gotta take some control, man. You gotta take some action for yourself. Now he's just a boy, but he's smart. You've changed since we last met. Yeah, I see it too. When I saw you then, you seemed uh, happier. Strange question. Caesar is dead. <laughs> he was as a husband to me. You didn't even know him. I. I amuse you. Stop it. It's an odd thought. He got you pregnant, maybe. Still thinks it's Titus's. But he got you pregnant and then he left. So, no. Here is the text of our proposal. We would read it into the Senate record. That our armies will continue to protect and preserve the throne of Cleopatra. Your Her Majesty will guarantee 10 grain shipments a month at the standard rate. The consul will accept 48,000 denarii. 35. 45. 42. 42. My son by Caesar is near four years old. He's begun to ask questions about his father. Soon I must tell him that his father's people do not accept him. It will never happen. The people wouldn't like it. And what would I profit by that? You would have my eternal gratitude. That's possible. Come now. It is not permitted to touch. Damn. If I must prostitute myself, I will. The customer pays first. Your son will eat shit and die before I make him legal. You see, very changeable. <laughs> what is he doing here? I wonder though. Is she just seeing him around? Because, like, what? why would he be there? He's not there. He's with Irene. She, she's just seeing him. Something must be done on the Aventine. Yes, yes. I know. I hear of nothing else. But guys, whoever controls the Aventine controls the docks and the grain supply. I am aware. The violence will spread if it is not stopped. The whole city will swift descend into chaos. Though it be none of your fault, of course. <laughs> Now, what can I do for you? You sent for me. Oh, yes, that. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm already here. Might as well just complain. <laughs> it is a list of candidates for next year's elections drawn up by our beloved Caesar just before he was taken from us. Oh, another lucky find. You are prodigious, Posca. <laughs> it's like, thank you. So, what's the problem? My endorsement will be worthless. People will merely assume I've been intimidated by you. Are you not intimidated? Not especially. At present, you cannot afford to kill me. You need me to endorse it. Fine, fine. Do as you like. <laughs> this dude. Lord, let him through. What are you doing here? Requiring advice and Damn. counsel regarding Lucius Verinus, sir. He is really here. He's gonna rise, sir. I don't I thought, know what's to be done with him. I thought um, Mark Anthony went to Cleopatra. I didn't know she came here to Rome. Okay, then. She wasn't just seeing him. Centurion Varinus. Look at the fucking state of you. It's morning dress, sir. It, it, it's morning. Not... You may well mourn. Caesar is dead, and it was you as good as held the knife. No. Stand to fucking attention when I'm talking to you! Why have you not done your damn duty and opened your stomach? This is my master. At present, he wishes me to suffer. <laughs> you are wrong, Centurion. Yeah, maybe he would like it if you stopped just laying around and actually do something. But I get it. Depression happens to the best of us. At least most of us. 
I am your master by sacred oath. So. Damn. Yeah, gross. That's still there. This, I take it, was Erastes Fulman. You start a damn war on the Aventine that threatens to engulf the whole fucking city. Oh. Disgusting. Oh, shoot. Gino's mercy. What's she doing here? I suppose Anthony wants a show of unity. Oh, my God. Why would he do that? It's good of you to come. I'm here under protest. I was gonna say, she's really talking kind to her. Shall we friends again? I cannot honorably refuse. Enjoy the party. Not that I saw Timon and some of his men in the yard. Their obvious purpose would be the abduction and killing of civilians. It's a truce. Ratified by priests. You can't harm her. A truce? Priests? You think that bitch cares? <laughs> There's more at stake here than your desire for vengeance. Her death would throw the Republic into uproar. Hmm. I'm sorry, Mother. Ah. Bastard. <laughs> By your own son. Ah, okay. Oh, is she gonna get a little jealous? Oh, yeah. Just as you described her. Quite the little mouse. Give your bad trough for Lobita. Please. We shall be informal. Who are all these lovely people? Out here of the Julia. Just as you said. <laughs> Release me now, children. Let me hug your father. Why are you here? So happy to see your brother. You oh. gave me a start, that's all. I'm very happy to see you. You could have written. Oh, uh, my partners and I are setting up a new business. I'm to run the office here. You'll be staying a while then. If you'll have me. Horses? Horses. Hmm. Adia, I have made a friend for life. I feel it. A friend. Safe journey, Your Highness. Unnecessary idea. Party's over. Everybody can go home now. Wow. So tell me the truth now. Why are you here? I told you I'm just setting up a new business. You hate Rome, and now you come to live amongst them. I don't think so. Things were getting a little hot for me in Jerusalem. Better I leave for a while. Mm. Politics. <sighs> Nothing serious. How is a man to stay silent? Just shame it to me. You're in Rome now. You're in my house. I've got a wife and children to think of. You keep that cat to yourself, do you hear me? I <sighs> Who is that? Take him out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go back and tell my friend that I have given up trying to reason with him. If he touches any man of mine again, there's a grave danger that I will become irate. And if I do, the chosen man of the collegia, a sanctified truth is declared. Violence shall cease until the waxing of the moon. First I thought, I wasn't sure if this was like a a flashback, cause that looks exactly like, you know, the guy that, was it Aristides Foreman or something like that? Or was that, no yeah, that I think that's his name. But the guy that Lucius and Titus killed. It's exactly like him, what the fuck? It's very, um... Very elegant there. Elegant. My name is Lucius Varinus. Consul Mark Antony declares your contest for control of the Aventine is finished. 
all violence will cease. You can declare what he likes. It doesn't make it so. The Aventine is now mine. You can't do that. Yet here I am. Rome is no shortage of criminal scum. Maybe I'll take some of yours. Brothers, remember the lady. Once order is restored, all collegia will receive a monthly stipend of 5,000 denarii in return. He expects you will limit yourself to your traditional liberties and malpractices, nothing that will disrupt trade or politics. Anything else? <laughs> Why would sane and respectable men like ourselves do business with a poor, curse-hounded beast like you? Those of you who will not do business with me are my enemy. Hmm. They will die much sooner than they expect. Steady oh. on, remember blessed Concord. <laughs> Is raised, brother. This is funny, isn't it? Oh, I won you, woman. Damn. And not a word about that damn girl, and I will. You will what? What will you do? That, that's his fault. He knows it. Anthony, about my money. Oh, God beneath us. Tell me, boy. If I did give you the money, what on Gaia's great ass would you do with it? That's a complex question. But I'd certainly start by giving the plebs the money that Caesar promised them. Then you're a fool. Once they have the money and spend it, then they will want more money. I was afraid you'd take this attitude, so I've engaged a lawyer. <laughs> he can help Posca expedite the delay in transferring the money to me. You can tell your lawyer to shove a taper up his ass and set himself alight. You'll not get one brass obol of that money. <laughs> Dick. Hey! Hey! That's enough! Thank you, sir. Please, sir. I need work. I'll do, I'll do anything. I'll suck you. Oh. Oh, Jesus. That poor boy. I was not expecting that. You must promise me never to speak of what I tell you now. Oh, God. The Republic is on the brink of an abyss. Antony's a destructive brute. The Senate is weak and cowardly, and the plebs are roiling in want and anger. Rome is in need of new leadership. I can provide that leadership. Don't worry, Octavian. I believe in you. Caesar chose you for a reason. It worked though, didn't it? The bastards fell into line. Oh, you scared the fuck out of them right enough. But that's not the point. The gods don't like this sort of shit from mortal men. I'm following the orders of a consul of Rome. Are you with me or not? I'm with you. Come on, bro. By grace of Jupiter, Gaius, Octavian, Caesar, that he personally will fulfill the terms of his beloved father's bequest to the people. Hmm. <laughs> All eligible citizens and soldiers will receive 300 sesterces. <laughs> Let it be known that Caesar's son hath sold away all his own property to honor his father's wishes. Damn. What have you done? Wake up. What? The money, you're giving the plebs their money. Is it so late already? <laughs> that will be seen as a direct challenge to me. But that isn't my intention at all. I suggest we make a public display of unity. While you are consul, my name will lend weight to yours. And when your consulship is over and you retire from politics, I will step in as leader of the Caesarian party. I see. Who the fuck do you think you are? I'm Caesar's rightful heir. Oh. 
Oh my god. You know Lucy! <laughs> What's the matter with you? You're, you're lucky you're breathing! Animal! You're not fit to leave room! <sighs> god damn. Flavor the college brothel. Whoa, she's pretty. Sorry, love, with plenty of holes. But God damn. I, I handle the girls, keep the customers in line. Name? Romans call me Gaia. I get my own room, I eat what I want. Every 500 coins comes through the brothel, I get one. Saving up to buy your freedom, are you? No. A fur coat. <laughs> Hello, you black dog. Oh, I heard you were hiring. Uh, I thought you were well set, farm and all. Crooked dice done for that. Be sure about this, brother. It's a dark road we're on. No one knows where it'll lead. Glad to have you with us. Come through the back and say hello to Verenus. Cheer up the old bastard. Is it true what they say then? About the wife and children? True enough. Not a fucking word. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the wife, yeah, but the children? I'm still holding hope that they're out there. Brother Verenus. Mascius. How are you? Ah. I'm fair. Fair. Come to join our merry band. You sure you sunk so low? I walked here from Capua. I slept in ditches. When I get here, I hear people talking. They say a black-hearted villain has taken over the Aventine College. And his name is Lucius Verinus. See, Pullo, I told you I know what I'm about. It's not right. What more can the gods do to me? Don't know. Don't want to find out. A fool like Anthony was sure to blunder. They'll fight among themselves and they'll destroy each other. I doubt the boy will be more than a nuisance to Anthony. He cannot hope to rival him. Caesar did not choose the boy on a whim. The Senate should ask my son to return. Not yet. Not quite yet, I think. When? We must wait and see how things develop. His friends in Rome uh, look forward to seeing him again at some point in the near future. He doesn't want him to come back. My dear mother, I write to bid you farewell. I'm very sorry you chose to act as you did. Hmm. <laughs> Be assured, I'm as determined as ever to pursue a political career. I'm on the road south to Campania, where I'll stay with my friend Agrippa. Are they in there? Hold up, hold up. Is it who I think it is? I knew it. I I knew it. I fucking knew it. I mean, th this isn't good, but <sighs> this was this was a pretty good episode, guys. Um but I I knew that his kids were not dead. I knew I knew that was a fucking lie. Um, I wonder how Lucius is gonna find out though. Uh, how to get them? How to get them back? Maybe I don't know. Maybe someone will spot them, and word will travel, and I don't know. But yeah, Lucius needs to calm down. He needs to relax. I understand his frustration. Like really, I do. He thinks he lost everything, and I mean. It's kind of his fault. Just just a bit though. It is, yeah. It's kind of his fault. I still like the dude, don't get me wrong, but yeah. But Octavian is leaving. That was crazy what happened to Honestly, I'm not surprised that happened. I like kind of saw that coming. Um from what you guys were telling me about Octavian and then um, you guys didn't really tell me a lot, but knowing who Octavian already was and that, uh, Caesar, uh, chose Octavian. So I wonder if the next time we see Octavian, I wonder if we're still going to be following him or if we're going to have like a few episodes, maybe two or three episodes with Octavian not there and then him coming back. I don't, I don't know, but I wonder about this new guy that, like, maybe he was, like, um, and maybe they had said it, I just missed it, but that new guy that was, like, or was it Orestes Foreman, that guy looks exactly like him. I thought that was him for a second, but then 
I wasn't sure if that was like a flashback, but I was like, no, that's actually happening. That's not him. But I wonder what's going on with that situation. Um, that was, it was kind of cracking me up with, uh, <laughs> the whole drama with Atia. There's always drama with Atia, but, um, her meeting Calpurnia finally that whole situation that was that was honestly pretty funny yeah y'all uh you guys let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and um I can't wait to see uh, you guys next episode so that being said see you guys around have a good day and yeah full uncut version is on my patreon all right see ya